Oh, hello everybody! Today is a great day. Today is the day of a long dead series that I used to do many years ago. Today, guys, we are going to be relaunching, re-injecting some life back into the Let's Build series, guys. So, what are we going to be doing today? Well, it's going to be October next month, as in October. <laughs> Do you get the pun? October, October, way! Um, yeah, so it's going to be October in a matter of weeks. It is September now, beginning of. So I decided, guys, I'm going to actually do some Orky Let's Builds. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm just going to do some of it. Mainly because I don't know what's in the new Orc Codex. Uh, I think this is probably going to be... Uh, mega. Well, actually, you know I'm going to show you guys. Basically, um, this this all stems from me seeing uh, something on a uh, Facebook group. I think one of the 40k converters uh, Facebook groups. And uh, it just made me go, ooh, that could be turned into something orky. So I went out and bought. And I will show you guys in just a second. As soon as I can get it. I basically wanted something really, really big and really, really chunky looking. Fuck, it's all falling apart and I've knocked the camera. Shit the bed. This isn't the best start to a new series, is it now? Um, but yeah, guys, so I went out and I bought this beast. This is a Titanfall pop vinyl. Now, some of you guys might be going, you can't vandalise a pop vinyl. Well, I'll let you in on something. The little top lid is broken and also this arm is broken as well. Hence why I got it for like... Like, like 15 quid on uh, on the old eBay. But guys, I thought to myself, this would be an awesome, awesome start for something really orky. It's nice and big and chunky. It's pretty well balanced for it, such a large figure. Um, it does have the option for an interior, so I could do something with that. I'm probably not, because like I said, this, this little thing here is is broken so i'm probably just going to glue it all in and like so the arm's broken as well so i can maybe turn this arm into a giant cannon i might see if i can wrench this arm off as well um this arm literally popped off which leads me to believe that it's been glued before um but i wonder if i can just pop it. no i can't that's that's stuck on far too much now and um, the reason why i've chosen to base uh this up, well, base this whatever it is that i'm going to make off of this pot vinyl is because mainly uh, the legs if we look at the leg profile here, the legs are super, super chunky, and they're super, like, you know, they're not coming off anytime soon. Now, I really, really, one of my downfalls in model making is the, is making legs. I just can never seem to get them right. I never seem to have the right parts to make legs. I never have the right methods or the right kind of uh, tools to make them really stable. Um, and I wanted something that's going to survive the test of time. Um, so yeah, that, that's the reason why I'm using this. I mean, if I wanted to, I could just saw it off, but then I'd be losing this huge chunky box on top, essentially, which is what it is. Um, there's going to be a lot of plastic card involved in this. Uh, I'm going to have to shave quite a lot of the details off, which is going to be interesting. I've never quite um, done a remodel this extensively on an action figure. Before the last action figure I actually did work on was the great, great unclean one, which was made on that Goblin King one, and he was, that kind of worked very well, because it was, um, you know, already pretty nurgly, and I could work with the textures that were already there. This, I'm going to have to do some, some quite I don't know, I'm going to have to look at it for a little bit longer and just see what I'm going to be doing with it. So, I know for a fact that these, like, butt flaps here, the, these are going to be coming off. Uh, I'm going to have to take these cables off. I'm basically going to try and get it as square as possible. Then I can start layering plastic card on. Now, again, another thing. I've never worked with vinyl before. This is a vinyl uh, plastic material. Now, I don't think that it's going to take to poly cement very well. And also super glue. I do not think that's going to work very well. Which means I'm going to have to work with some epoxies. Uh, which is going to be quite messy and quite annoying to work with initially but once I've got those plastic card surfaces and plastic card fascias done it should be fairly smooth sailing from that I've got a plethora of bits down here which are all different textured 40k style bits and we're just going to see how things go uh, I think again I'm going to probably take um, again on the feet I'm going to take these little struts off the feet um, just because I want them to look more like feet rather than weird little stabilizers but yeah, it's going to be interesting, guys. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I just woke it up. Um, I don't really know um, if I'm going to film 
the uh, process just because I've not really got a lot of space here to actually do it. It might literally be a case of it's episodic, here's what I've done type thing. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if I can find a comfortable position for this camera. Um, but yeah, so I have no idea what this is going to be. Uh, he's a little bit too big to be a dreadnought. Um, just so you guys uh, can see for scale, um, here's a Space Marine. So, relatively big, <laughs> uh, this guy, and obviously going to get bigger the more I build onto him. So, I think I might even, this is either going to be a Gorkonaut, oh, oh, you're really good, sorry guys, super tired this morning. This is going to be a Gorkonaut, or if I can get away with it and make it big enough, maybe a Stomper. Um, but yeah guys, so, wish me luck, we'll see what we can get on with, see what we can do.
Okay guys, so, um, through after all of that, I have basically managed to come up with this so far, which essentially is a box on legs. Um, I've kind of gone and done um, the, the iron gob on this guy, just because I felt like it needed a little bit of flavour, uh, a little bit of character, in order for me to kind of get some ideas as to what this model is actually going to be like. And one of the things that I really do enjoy about creating orcs, especially Big, creating big orky constructs is uh, fashioning a gigantic kind of iron gob uh, on the front. As you can see from the footage previously, I kind of messed it up twice before I settled on a third time, and I actually went in behind and strengthened it with additional plastic card just so it wouldn't fracture. Because plastic card is a great material to use, but once it's snapped, you basically got like a little, really like nano molecular, like thin little strip of plastic card holding it together. And as a result, over here, as you can see, guys, you know, that can only really take one, two, three, four. It can only really take a few bends before it fully snaps. So, therefore, the reinforcement had to go across the back of it. Um, but yeah, I, uh, so this is what I've got so far. It's basically a box on legs. I've kind of made it so that the arms can kind of fit. Still, this one particularly. Now, I've left it a little bit raised up here so that it's not fully keyed into this like locking key kind of bit, which obviously in the factory is where it was actually glued together. Uh, so that is going to be allow me to kind of have a bit more freedom of movement depending on where I want to put this arm. I think that this is going to be the close combat arm, and I think this is going to be the shooty arm. Now my idea is, if I can find the components, which I don't think I can, Ugh. oh no, don't tell me I've lost the bit that I was actually wanting to use. Ah, here we go. So, this arm section here where I ripped his arm off, um, I kind of have this leftover chunk of engine from um, a Mantic uh, thing that I, that I did a while ago. Uh, and so this as a proxy barrel. So imagine that there as like the barrel of a gun. I'm going to try and connect it kind of, kind of like that. So it looks very underslung kind of thing. I might extend it out the back with something, uh, but that's essentially how that one's going to be. I think I'm going to have definitely have a cannon arm, and then as for the um, the, 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 the other arm, the close combat, I think I'm going to go with something a little bit rippy. I wanted to do, I might do a claw, depends how I'm feeling on the day. I might make multiple ones and then only use one. Uh, but I also found this uh, side sponsor as well from a uh, Lehman Russ, so I think that would actually go quite well if I could manage somehow to attach that. I'm going to cut this here, I think. If I can attach that to the side, I think that would be pretty cool to give it like an extra little bit of a gun just on the side there. Or maybe, no. On the top, uh, just so you guys can get an idea of kind of where I'm going here. Again, if you can find the bit, there we go. I have this leftover piece from some Mechanicum terrain, and I think I'm going to go slap bang there as like the, the front kind of like porthole, uh, not port, front entryway for this orky construct just because it's a really really nice piece, it's it's spherical which is nice, adds a little bit of spherical texture to it, it's got the rivets uh, I'm going to obviously scratch this number off and replace it with like an orky glyph but it just looks really orky there, or maybe even on the side like that, I, I'm not sure yet time will tell, time will tell but I'm going to leave it for the time being oh, I've also got I've also got this rear door of our Chimera, which might look good there. I'm not sure. I think that, again, I'm going to be going with some kind. If I can find it. Where's the bits? Where's the goddamn bits? There we go. I'm going to probably go with some kind of... Because, obviously, you need it needs to look like it has eyes. So I might go something along the lines of, like... Like like that it might happen. Obviously not as long as these. There's gonna be like obviously a porthole here, and then this might be a, a movable kind of zappy kind of gun going on. So it looks like he's got two eyes coming out like that. I think that'll look pretty interesting. But again, it, it's an evolving thing. With whenever I do orc stuff, it's never it never <laughs> turns out 
how I want it to in the beginning. Um, it kind of evolves more. I think, oh, I can add a little bit there, I can add a little bit here, or I can I can tack that on there and, and do all that kind of stuff. So we're going to see how this project evolves. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been nice to get back into the whole Let's Builds. So um, I want to thank you for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So see you now, and goodbye. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. The doobly doo down below. You'll also get links to the uh, Facebook and the Instagram. Go to the Instagram. I'm more active on there. But anyway, guys, see you guys again. Goodbye.